you missed it last Friday night, the switch was flipped at Rock City's Enchanted Garden of Lights, and this is year number 23 of this turning into an annual Chattanooga holiday family tradition. Megan Jolly is here on the far side. Megan, good to hey, have you here. Thanks. Who is this beautiful lady you have here? Mrs. So Claus, guess. of course. Hi, Mrs. Claus. Thank you for allowing me to come today. Have I been on the naughty or the nice list? <laughs> I'll have to check with Santa on that. He's in charge of the list, you know. I understand. You guys keep adding to this each and every year. Mm -hmm. Did you really, um, when you started this 23 years ago, did you think this was going to be into the big, big deal that it is now? Probably not. Of course, it was our hope, and mm -hmm. that's how it's turned out. But we've continued to grow in attendance every year. We had a fabulous opening weekend. Right. There's a lot of buzz about it. It's become a family tradition for sure. Tell me a little bit more about the particulars of it. What's uh, up there at the Rock City Enchanted Garden of Lights? I think one of the biggest enhancements we've made in the last two years is that, um, so if you haven't been, you need to come because now you can choose which realm you go on first. So we have four different realms. Mm -hmm. And you can visit all of them while you're there, but it just helps alleviate uh, the lines a little bit. Um, and I also wanted to suggest coming Mondays through Thursday nights. Um, it's yeah. a little bit less crowded. Those are discounted ticket nights. Sure. Um, but there's themed r realms. And it's so magical at night when you say, I mean, it's magical at any point. But during the night, it just takes on a whole separate life mm -hmm. of its own, it seems like. Yes, daytime and nighttime are completely different experiences. All right, Mrs. Claus, tell us where you come into the picture on this. Oh, well, I'm in charge of the gingerbread cookies at the <sighs> North Pole Lodge. Children mm. and adults, all people of mm -hmm. who are young at heart, can come in and decorate a gingerbread cookie, right. my private recipe that Rock City allows me to use. Really? And it's quite fun and very delicious. How's that gone over with the kids? I know you've only had a few days for this, but how's this gone over with the kids, maybe the little ones and then kids? All right. Oh, everyone loves it. You wouldn't believe how many adults come back year after year to come in and listen to the music that we have at the North Pole Lodge, mm -hmm. as well as make a gingerbread cookie before going to see Santa. You can literally take the whole family out to this, and there's something for everyone, regardless of how young or how mm -hmm. old the kids are. That's right. right. Give us the uh, particulars on this. Um, you're going to be open from now through... January the 6th. Mm -hmm. We're open from 6 to 9 p.m. every mm -hmm. night, except for Christmas Eve. So Christmas Eve, you know, Santa will be gone mm -hmm. after the 23rd. Santa has things to do. Mm -hmm. Santa mm -hmm. has things to do. Uh, how many lights? Do you have a, a rough ballpark of how many lights you guys have up there? I'm looking at a little video clip of this now. Looks like a bunch. About a million. About a million. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's amazing. And that's amazing. spread throughout the whole Rock City mm -hmm. complex. Right, and they're all LED. Mm -hmm. And uh, one of our new enhancements this year is uh, in the Magic Forest, there's some dancing trees, and we have an original music score set to really? that trail. So yeah, you're gonna that's something different that's there. I think this is certainly something everybody ought to get out and enjoy with kids of all ages, get together as a group, uh, maybe a civic organization and go check out the uh, Rock City Enchanted Garden of Lights. Are you doing any storytelling? You're doing any reading to everybody? Or oh. Are you too busy doing the, the gingerbread? Well, it depends. Um, sometimes we get up there and we have a sing-along. Mm -hmm. Rudolph is always a favorite and Jingle Bells, of right. course. And um, sometimes I do tell stories to the children as they come through if it's a quiet night. I've seen you do, you, I've seen you do what you do up at uh, Rock City. You love it. Oh, I do. You really do. And the kids it, connect with you just like nobody's business. Oh, well, thank you very much. It fills my heart with joy to be down at Rock City every year and to see the faces, not only of the children, but of the adults, and allow that, that allows them to be children again. Yeah, and I think you hit the nail on the head on that. It's a good place to leave it. Mrs. Thank Claus, you. thank you so much. Thank Megan, you. thank you so much. Again, you can catch them through early January, but obviously you want to get out and check out the Rock City Enchar Enchanted Garden of Lights before the big day when mm -hmm. Santa Claus has to go load up the sleigh and make that big trip around the world. Mm -hmm. If you would like more information on ticket pricing and things of that nature, Megan, what is the website? CRockCity.com. CRockCity.com. Now, if you want to go see Rock City in style, we'll show you how to do that coming up as we continue on Let's Chat.